Hey everybody, it's Tom from MC Things, and in this video we're going to show you how to connect your MC Gateway to the internet. So having a look at the MC Gateway 110, it does connect via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. There's an Ethernet port connection right here, so pretty easy, just plug in. Um, you do need to make sure that the gateway is in Ethernet mode or Wi-Fi mode, depending on which way you want to work with it. So Ethernet, pretty easy plug in, put it on Ethernet. Um, if you want to use Wi-Fi, click it over to Wi-Fi, and there's two ways you can connect to a Wi-Fi network. Um, so one of them, there's a walkthrough. If you go to our support page, downloads, and we'll just go down to the MC Gateway Quick Start Guide, which is right there. Um, so on page five, and review this document, it tells you about your gateway and all the different stuff that you need to know about it. Uh, page five talks about how to connect to Wi-Fi using WPS. Now WPS is a function that's available on most Wi-Fi routers. Um, basically you press it, it opens up your network for a short period of time for a device like the MC Gateway uh, to connect to the Wi-Fi network. It's pretty standard for connecting wireless printers, scanners, that type of stuff. So what you would do, make sure the gateway is uh, plugged in, uh, put it into Wi-Fi mode, hit WPS, and then you hit, hold, hit and hold down the user switch for about a second. It will then go and look for that Wi-Fi network, connect to it, and it'll save those, uh, those settings so that you can continue to connect to that Wi-Fi network until you go through this uh, process one more time. There is one other option on how to do this. If you go into MC Studio and connect to a gateway, so we'll go to Devices, we're just going to click on this gateway and connect to it. And once I've done this, I can actually go and connect to Gateway Config. So I go into there. This gives me all different fields to enter in different uh, information like my MQTT, uh, as you can see there. Um, but one thing I'm also going to do is enter in my Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. So you just put that in, put your password, whatever that might be. And then this is important, save it to the gateway, disconnect from the gateway in MC Studio, and then power cycle that gateway. It does need to be power cycled for these changes to take effect. Um, so last thing I'll mention here is, let's say your Wi-Fi router does not have WPS, but you still want to connect to that Wi-Fi uh, network. So what you'll have to actually do, connect your uh, gateway through Ethernet, go through the same process of connecting to it through MC Studio, go to your gateway config, enter the Wi-Fi details, and then disconnect, power cycle that gateway, but also make sure you switch it over to Wi-Fi, and it'll then start to look for your Wi-Fi network. So if you do have any questions, um, I always suggest that people come and join us at the forum, uh, forum.mcthings.com. You can also access the forum via our website. Uh, so this is where you can connect with other users in our community. You can also connect with us here at MC Things and ask us questions. And um, we provide details and all sorts of stuff is available on the forum. So please join us there. Uh, also check us out on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, all the social medias. Uh, we're all over that. And uh, connect with us any kind of way you want to. Uh, so hopefully that helps and take care. We'll talk to you soon.